lot of heat here, Andrea. Today, uh, talking specifically about today, should be the new hottest day so far this year. Normally here on the 7th of July, we top out around 89 degrees or so. Today, we're going to top out right around 98 for a high temperature. And then as we look ahead to the record for today, 102. That was set back in 1989, so uh, we're not going to quite be in record territory for today, but definitely hot and certainly above normal for this time of year. I-70 in the mousetrap, 96 degrees there on the north side of town. We've been watching these clouds build throughout the day, and that's going to continue to be the trend through the rest of today. Of course, this time of year when it gets this hot, we talk about heat safety. If you're on a job site, staying hydrated, taking breaks as frequently as possible in your vehicle. Make sure you look before you lock. Make sure no one is left behind, including kids or pets. And if you must exercise outdoors, make sure you're finding shade whenever possible, staying hydrated. And of course, it's better to exercise indoors with this kind of heat. And speaking of indoors, make sure you're checking on anyone who's elderly or anyone without AC in this kind of heat. Denver is actually going to be one of the hottest major cities across the country, excluding the desert southwest. So if you don't look in the desert southwest, look elsewhere. We're really one of the high, hottest, even hotter than San Antonio today, hotter than Miami, hotter than Atlanta, hotter than Dallas. Of course, those cities get the humidity, makes it feel worse, but our temperature will technically be higher. Greeley, 100 degrees possible this afternoon. It's possible we could hit 100 in Denver at the airport, but we're going to go with 98, maybe 99 right now. Triple digits across the south, southern portions of the state, 70s and 80s in the mountains. Map doesn't change very much tomorrow, but it won't be quite as hot. We've got a weak summer cold front coming through on Thursday. We're still in the mid 90s and then we'll soar back to near 100 degrees as we get into Friday. It is windy in parts of the state, including on the western slope. Wind gusts to 40 miles per hour in Meeker. We have some gusty wind on the plains as well, mainly east of Lyman and east of Fort Morgan. A little breezy here in the metro area. All that wind, of course, elevating the fire danger. And we do have red flag warnings that are up. So I mentioned that summer cold front. It's near Boise right now. That'll swing on through as we get into tomorrow and Thursday. But what's really going to dominate our weather uh, for the rest of this week, into the weekend and into next week is going to be this big ridge of high pressure. You can think of this as a big mountain of heat. It'll just sit over the Four Corners region for the next 7 to 14 days. And as it does, it's just going to continue to bring heat up from those deserts uh, of Arizona and New Mexico and Nevada. And that's why on Friday, I think we could have our first triple digit temperature of the year. Let's take a look here at the future cast. There is still a small chance for a gusty thunderstorm this afternoon. Uh, I know the clouds look ominous right now in some areas, and it's certainly possible you could get a storm, but you're not going to get much of any rainfall. It's mainly going to be wind and lightning, similar to what we saw in Boulder County yesterday. We think a little better chance for seeing showers and storms on the far eastern plains as we get into the evening hours. There's 630, there's 7 o'clock. We're hoping we get a little rain down in Baca County. That's where the worst drought situation in the state is. Here's the red flag warning. This goes until 8 p.m. Does include a good portion of the eastern plains. Most mountain areas in the western slope. Denver and the front range not included, but even though we don't have a red flag warning, technically our, our fire danger is certainly elevated. So if we're not in the 90s, we're in the 100s all the way through the end of the week and into the weekend. Hot, hot, hot with 100 possible on Friday. Same thing on Sunday. Next week overall looks just as hot, if not hotter than this week, Andrea.